Okay, the final stage in the chop pattern. So we're gonna have the same setup as number two. So I'm stood with the band in front of me and then off to my side. Take the two ends of the bands in both hands. This time what I'm gonna do on the leg closest to the band now is I'm gonna stand on that leg. So I'll bring my right leg up. So my hips at 90 and my feet are facing forward, yeah. And then I'm gonna, with this leg, I'm gonna drive my heel into the floor. I'm gonna squeeze my quad to lock my knee up and I'm gonna squeeze my glute. And I like to sort of just almost push forward slightly um, to get rid of any sort of form of hip flexion. So if you squeeze your glute and push forward and then you're happy that you've got good glute engagement while doing this exercise, okay? So lift up my right leg. 90 90 and then 90 at the bottom push my heel into the floor squeeze my quad squeeze my glute push forward lightly now with both hands i'm going to bring the band across he says to split my knee and then bring it back up okay and i'm trying to keep my torso nice and straight it's helpful to find a point on a wall a fixed point and stare at it and then that helps you from performing any kind of rotation. And I'll continue like this. So hands to the front, split the knee, um, keeping it nice and straight, engage your core, engage your glutes, engage your quads, and then do one side, turn around, and then do the other.